All right, all right, all right. Dirty 30 back with the Steel Series Arctis 7P. This video, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up on a Mac OS. I have a 2013 MacBook Pro, and I have the Steel Series engine set up on there. So I'm going to also show you guys what I prefer as of now. It's been almost a week since I've had the headset. So let's get into how to set it up. So when you guys go to your desktop page, your home screen of your MacBook, you're going to have to go up and click uh, System Preferences. It's the left hand corner. Picture's going to be on the screen. Click that little Apple. Click System Preferences. Then you're going to go to your System uh, Security Settings. System, I think it's Security and Privacy Settings. So click the security and uh, privacy settings then when you click on that you should have uh, this screen pop up right here and you're gonna have to scroll down scroll down and it's gonna say input monitoring I guess Apple came out with a new security setting when you plug in USBs any kind of USB C any USBs I guess you have to manually turn it on now so you're gonna go you're gonna see how it says general fire uh, file vault firewall privacy when you go to privacy, you're going to go all the way down to this input monitoring setting. Make sure it's clicked. As you can see, mine, I'm not using the SteelSeries engine, and I don't have the headset hooked up, so you're going to see it grayed out right there. But that's how you do it on the Mac OS. Haven't seen a video talking about it, so this gets right to the point. So if you guys want, this is it for how to set it up on a Mac OS 2013 late version. Any Mac OS, I guess. I guess it's an update. So now let's get into the EQ settings. So on screen, I'm going to put a crap ton of pictures for you so this is what it looks like when you actually hook up the steel series when you first go to the steel series engine you go to the software you type just type it in on google just type in steel series engine 3 you get a link from their website download it pc mac pick which one you got make sure everything's updated on your pc or mac then when you first actually get the steel series engine to pop up you're gonna have a usb i don't have the picture but you're gonna have the usb port you're going to use that to connect it. You're going to have the connection that it comes with. And then you're going to have, um, what is the other thing? Uh, the charging cable or whatever it is. None of that's going to work. Only thing that is going to work is the USB-C that comes with it and the adapter. If you had the 7P, that's what I'm going over with. Anything else, use the manual. And I'm pretty sure you have to use its Bluetooth connector that comes with it. So what you're going to do is connect that directly. And what I just showed you earlier in the video, you're gonna go and do that on the Mac OS. And what do you have to do on the PC, but on the Mac OS, as soon as you plug it in, it's gonna recognize it. You have to go to your your system preferences and make sure that you have it clicked so you can use the USB port, the USB adapter that the SteelSeries comes with. Then you're gonna see this right here, the Arctis 7P wireless, it's gonna say not connected. So what all you do is connect that USB port, that should pop up. As soon as you hit it, another picture is going to pop up right here. And you're going to have the Arctis 7P wireless connected with the battery showing there. So once you get into that, you're going to have all your system preferences. I know the screenshots are kind of blurry. I don't get why. I always send from my phone to my PlayStation messaging and it always looks good on the PS4. For some reason, it looks like crap. I don't know it's because the iPhones are good, a lot better than what the PlayStation can register, which makes no sense because it's 4K, but I'm sorry that it's blurry, but you're going to have a couple of these settings here, and I'll put them all on screen. I'll go one by one. You're going to have the default, which it comes with. Everything's going to be lined out on the equalizer there. Everything's going to be zero across the board. Then you're going to have entertainment, and you'll see that right now. Then you're going to have immersion. You'll see what that is right now. Then you have music, performance, and voice. So you select whatever which one you want. Obviously, music is for when you listen to music with these bad boys on your phone or PlayStation, whatever you want to listen to your music for. Performance and entertainment is what I want to get into. I haven't really tested out the immersion, entertainment, and performance all the way. Right now, it's the entertainment was okay. Uh, when I played a couple games of Warzone, I used it on the computer, checked out some YouTube videos, and... Also, just playing in the game. Entertainment's okay. Immersion and performance are the two I liked. If you like the, the thickness of the thuds of the guns, I would go with, uh, I think it's the performance. I think that has more bass. And then immersion is pretty good, but I don't think there's that much bass in the immersion. 
I can't really tell because the equalizer, from just hearing it, the equalizer doesn't really specify. I really hope they update the, the engine to have the equalizer show which each individual dial actually does. Bass, treble. That would be helpful. Someone like me, I don't know that stuff. But what I actually did today, I'm going to try it out. I was watching a YouTube video of just the sounds of Call of Duty. And for me personally, I always like it when the games sound like the real weapons in real life. When you're shooting a gun, it's a big crack and a big thud. So that's what I like. When you're shooting the gun, I want to hear the thud sound and I want to hear the crack of the bullet. So I'm going to put up on screen my custom settings. And let's see if I can actually... Because I know you can't see it. So on here... I have custom settings for you guys and I, I, I the way that it was sounding when I was watching the YouTube video was pretty dope like I got it to where I kind of figured it out I was watching YouTube video with the guns and how they were shooting so how you have it here if you guys see your equalizer I'll go left to right so the dials from the left I have the left one it has 64 I have it on two the second one the second dial it's 180 I have it on five positive five positive two positive five then the the third dial is 500 i have that on positive two then the 1.4 k dial that's the one two three fourth dial in i have that on a negative three then the 3.9 k that is the one two three four five five that's the fifth dial sorry guys huh <laughs> that's a positive two and then the last dial 11k is a negative two so what i was trying to figure out in the youtube video was when i was listening and i was messing around because you can do a live if you look in the bottom of this picture oh you can't see it i have a live uh listening as soon as i touch the dial it actually messes with the sound so i have a live feed going when i was listening and i figured the last one two three dials they're the ones that will give you the bass and then the treble i guess you would say so the last three dials is what really messes with the whole thing. The first three, I really don't know. I really can't tell. I think the second dial and the third dial, it messes with the, the bass a little bit in the crack, but we'll find out. I haven't gotten the test yet, but listening to the video sounded phenomenal. I had, this is my custom. This is custom. And whenever you pick which one you want to click, uh, you will see that it will say, say save in the bottom right hand corner of the screen when you select uh your preset custom or whatever you make uh at the bottom right hand corner it will say save so you click save and then all you have to honestly do is unplug it after you click save and you let it load it will gray out it's saved it's saved to your headset as long as your headset is on it is saved and once it's saved unplug it and you're good to go so i really hope this video helped you guys out uh, I can't wait to try this new custom setting and if you guys want another video on how to configure your own uh, Settings without because when you first load when you first load this up, it's just gonna have the default there So I'll show you guys how to configure your own Settings so you can have multiple ones so instead of just going to the default one and then clicking that and constantly having to switch that You can look like mine if you pay attention to the video You'll see the, all the settings to the left of the screen and I'll show you right now You'll see the left to think configurations. I did all that manual. I made all that So if you guys want a video on how to do that and how to set that up I'll let you know um, just put a comment down below and Hit me up and I'll, I'll reply to you guys as fast as I can so I appreciate you guys watching the video. I really hope this helped you out, especially you Mac OS users. I, it was so difficult on how to figure that out. I finally got it hyped. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching the video. Really hope this helped you out. Thank you. Peace.